Okay, this is actually an answer to a question on my blog post at the European Space Agency blog uh, on, I don't remember where it was, but I'll, I'll link to the, the post below. And the question was, uh, how do you get the angular velocity for an object orbiting around the Earth? So here's the Earth, and here's the object. And so this is orbiting at an orbital radius, which is from the center of the Earth, uh, value of r. Okay. So the first thing is, there is a gravitational force acting on the spacecraft or satellite or whatever, uh, pulling it towards the center of the Earth. And the magnitude of that force, it's the gravitational interaction, is going to be F is equal to G, mass of the Earth, mass of the object, over R squared. This is the universal gravitational force. So in this case, G is the universal gravitational constant, ME is the mass of the Earth, and M is the mass of this object right here. And then R is that distance. So what do forces do? Well, they change the motion of an object. So in one dimension, since there's only one force, this would have to be equal to mass times acceleration. And right away you see the mass of the spacecraft cancels. Since the object is moving in a circle, the centripetal acceleration is going to be equal to V squared over R or R omega squared, where omega is the angular velocity. These two are equivalent ways of writing the same thing. So according to this, as I move further and further away, um, well, let's just, okay. Let's, if you're moving in a circle and you increase the radius, uh, you would increase the acceleration. Uh, if you increase the angular velocity, you'd increase the acceleration. Okay, that's fine. Think of it that way. So if I put these two things together, I get g mass of the earth over r squared equals r omega squared. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by r. No, I'm going to divide both sides by r. And I get these cancel and I get omega squared equals g m e over r cubed. And that can take the square root of both sides. And then that is my angular velocity. I think that's what the question was asking. How do you get the angular velocity uh, of an object orbiting? And this is for a circular orbit only. Okay. Hope that helps.